This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap with Ivan Caesar. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Trade Market Wrap for Wednesday, July 18th, 2007. Stocks took a hit today as subprime worries and a less than cheerful congressional testimony by Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke pushed the Dow Jones as low as 100 points before a brief rally during the last 30 minutes. At the end of the day, the Dow finished lower by 53 points at 13,920. The Nasdaq was down 12 points, closing at 2699, and the S&P 500 lost about three points. It closed at 1546. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said core inflation should edge down a bit over the next year and a half as inflation expectations remain contained. Energy prices flatten out and pressures from the labor and product market diminish. In prepared testimony to the House Financial Service Committee, Bernanke said core inflation should edge a bit lower on net over the remainder of this year and next. He added that if energy prices level off as currently anticipated, overall inflation should slow to a, play, to a pace close to that of core inflation in coming quarters. On growth, the Fed chairman said the economy should expand at a moderate pace over the second half of 2007 and strengthen a bit next year. On other economic news, the Labor Department reported that the Consumer Price Index edged up a virtually minuscule to 0.2% in June, following a 0.7% surge in May, which had been the biggest jump in 20 months. The price moderation reflected a 1.1% decline in gasoline prices, which pushed total energy costs down by 0.5% offsetting a 0.5% rise in food costs. Construction of new homes in June rose in June, falling two straight months of declines. The 2.3% increase in construction activity was better than the small decline analysts had expected. It pushed home building to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 1.434 million units. Meanwhile, building permits dropped by 7.5% in June to a pace of 1.406 million annualized. Permits for single-family homes fell by 4.1% from May. In earnings New Delta Airlines reported a second quarter profit of $1.8 billion, or $4.49 a share, from a year-ago loss of $2.2 billion. Adjusted earnings for the quarter, which exclude reorganization and related items, were 70 cents a share. Analysts on average predicted earnings of 59 cents a share for the quarter. The Atlanta Airlines revenue rose to 5 billion from 4.74 billion. Humana reported second quarter profit of $1.28 a share, above its prior forecast of 115 to 120 a share. The company raised its profit forecast for the year to a range of $4 to $4.50 a share, up from its prior expectations of at least $4 and a quarter. Analysts on average expected to earn $1.17 a share for the second quarter. Intel also reported its net income rose 44% from a year ago, helped by a slimmer workforce and solid microprocessor shipments. Intel reported net income of $1.3 billion, or $0.22 cents a share, up from $885 million, or $0.50 cents a share, in last year's same period. The results include tax items that increased earnings by $0.03, cents, along with restructuring charges of $82 million. 
Yahoo said its second quarter profits fell slightly from the same period a year ago as the internet company begins rebuilding following a shakeup in its top executive ranks. Yahoo said the net income for the period ended in June came in at 160.57 million or 11 cents a share compared with 164.3 million or 11 cents a share in the period a year earlier. Analysts were looking for 11 cents a share. Scheduled economic reports for Thursday include the initial jobless claims for the week of July 14th, leading indicators for June, the Philadelphia Fed survey for July, and the FOMC minutes from the June 28th meeting. Scheduled earnings reports for Thursday include Motorola, Google, Capital One, Dow Jones & Company, Safeway, Bank of America, Harley-Davidson, Genuine Parts, Manpower, Honeywell International, Oakley, Sandisk, and Wyeth. This has been the Premier Trade Market Wrap for Wednesday, July 18, 2007.